All right, I am out in the garage today. Uh, I have a project for the day that I hope I can get done because I'm on a pretty short schedule on this one. Uh, I want to try and install the trailer hitch on the vehicle. I got this trailer hitch last year uh, with the intent of putting it on and never really got it done. So uh, I'm going to try and do it now and hopefully get it installed and working before I uh, head back down to the cities for a while to do some things and can clip on the trailer. And I got the back end jacked up. Uh, you know, jack stands underneath there, the jack for safety. Got the computer there so I can look stuff up as I need to. Uh, I'm probably going to have to move a bunch of this stuff around. Hitch is here. Got tools there. I'm going to bring a light in so that I have more, uh, well, light. So the first thing you need to do is to lower the exhaust by taking off these two and the corresponding two on this side. Ah, oh, the joy. And the next thing I'm supposed to do is to remove these rubber isolators that hold the exhaust, the muffler, in place here. I don't have a removal tool. And they are a right pain in the ass to try and remove by hand, so I'm going to try and just swing them out of the way and hope that I can get in there and do the things that I need to do. Uh, next is removing this uh, little bolt and washer that hold on the heat shield. Oh. Ah, son of a... Yeah, and even the washer that held it on, I mean, it wasn't even holding it on anymore. I guess the vibration just chewed right through it. Okay, I'm supposed to try and trim away the heat shield here. Now this is some pretty decently thick aluminum and I don't know that I have tools that will do that. And I do have the Dremel, but that would be a pain in the ass. Uh, I may go ahead and put this on without it. I think I'm going to try because I don't think it will make that much difference. I think that there's going to be enough clearance in there. I guess we'll find out. If I need to trim it, I can trim it. All right, for pain in the acidness, this carriage bolt is supposed to get installed in there. And this hole is not quite big enough. I need to grind that out a little bit to get that bolt in. I don't know if I have a tool for that. When you don't have a high-powered die grinder, make do with what you got. This ended up working, at least enough to get the bolts in. I need to fish what's called a fish wire in through this hole and pull bolts up through this hole and out here. So I need to make a hole in that for the bolt. And I think one here. So. That's why they wanted to trim this, not because it, you know, needs to be attached right to this, but because there are holes behind here that need to get in there. So I need to clear those holes out first, and then do the fish wiring. Fishing wire. Fish wiring. I guess. Yeah, whatever. All right, I found some metal shears, so I was able to cut this away. Um, this was kind of a fun find. I was walking on the, up to get the mail, and... Uh, this is on the ground, so I'm going to use this as an additional washer for up here. Uh, <laughs> might as well, right? I mean, you know, it's it's nothing that uh, cost me any money. So, and it would be better to have it held on a little bit better than not held on at all. So I'm going to uh, try and do that. And then I can do the fishing through these. That's way fun.
All right, it was a right pain in the ass, but I did get it through. Uh, I'm gonna grind out the other side a little bit more so that I know I've got enough room. And then I'll put the other two bolts in on this side and then the three on the other side. All right, I am going to try this. I'm gonna try setting the camera on my chest. I can't see if it is uh, properly focused on what I'm doing here or not, but I'm going to hope that it is and see if that'll work. So I need to go in through here and back out through here. I did enlarge these holes. Hopefully they are, yeah, they're big enough to get the whole head through, so that should make it easier. And I'm leaving these wires attached because I don't want to lose these in the framework. I really hope this is working because uh, otherwise this is going to end up being a very weird video. <laughs> Okay, that is this side done. The other side is uh, pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to try and... I'm not going to record that. I mean, you've already seen this side. I just want to try and get this done. All right, I made one fairly easily corrected mistake. Uh, instead of mounting it through this hole, it needs to go through the uh, one that we reamed out. Uh, so I got them on the other side as well. Somehow I managed to lose one of these fish wires, probably while I was out trying to chase a dog. Uh, but I've got a nut on here to keep it captured. So now comes the pain in the ass part. I've got to lift this thing up and try and attach it. I'm going to try to uh, get this attached up in here. Yeah, that's going to be tough to see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Uh, I want to try and thread this thing through these holes, or through these, through holes in the hitch and get it attached on this side, or at least as attached as I can get it, and then try and do it on the other side. Hopefully I can do this by myself.
gonna have to go under or over the uh, muffler. Okay, I am going to have to think this thing through a little bit and probably get some wood to help support this as I'm putting it up. <laughs> All right. All right, with uh, quite a bit of rigging and a lot of wrestling in time, I have managed to uh, get all the bolts through. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to try and show you here. It's a, a trick that I found because these bolts are really difficult, or these, uh, yeah, these bolts are really difficult to get the nut threaded on because it's really difficult to hold. What I found is uh, if you take one of these fish wires and you grab it like that, you can get the nut on much easier. Let me see if I can uh, try and show you how I got this one. All right, I have these on finger tight. I'm gonna tighten up the other side finger tight and then tighten them down with a regular wrench. And then I have to uh, go get a torque wrench to make sure that they're torqued down properly. But after that, oh yeah, there's still more to go. <laughs> Forgot about that part. On this side, this lined up nicely for the muffler mount holes. So I'm going to uh, bolt this back on. I'm leaving those loose to uh, so I can adjust the other side because I'm going to have to move the whole uh, rack that way on this side and boy that's going to be fun. Click. <sighs> okay these are all tightened down by hand about as hard as I can tighten them. Uh, that should be good until I can get to a torque wrench and make sure that they are torque to spec. But right now, as it is, the hitch is installed. So I can now lower the vehicle, take it off the jack stands, and we can get in and actually take it for a drive and make sure that the, everything is not rattling and everything is nice and tight. I did get a little bit extra on here, uh, not doing anything with there. Also, when I when I put these on, because remember I uh, I kind of chewed out this hole with the rasp. I put some sealant in there uh, because I don't like having the bare metal. Because this has got this really nice primer on it that keeps the rust off uh, as best it can. I mean, there's a little bit forming. You can see that, but nothing is structurally a problem. 
uh, but I want to make sure that I don't start some rust on the frame here. I suspect that this will last for the lifetime of the vehicle. I mean, I had one on the uh, on the other Escape, and you know that was still doing nice and fun. Okay, enough from underneath the car. Doesn't quite show the aftermath, but uh, uh, quite a few tools there, all around over here. Uh, yeah, she was kind of a uh, kind of a serious work. The instructions say that this installation, if you've done it before a bunch of times and you've got a garage ready and all that good stuff, takes about 40 minutes. Uh, if you've never done it before and you still have all the tools ready, it should take about 80 minutes. If you're like me and you are doing it for the first time, you don't quite have all the tools ready um, and you have, you're watching, you know, installation instructions on YouTube and you have two very healthy dogs, about six hours. <laughs> 